On today's episode of Quads App, I want to focus on how to evaluate the difference between a real conspiracy and a fake one. Now, if you're a diehard mainstream media lover, that just means two things. One, you're brainwashed. <laughs> and two, uh, you probably think, oh, there's no such thing as conspiracies, because that's what they teach you on mainstream media, unless mainstream media confirms a conspiracy, like they're trying to do with Russiagate. Now, compare that with Watergate, where the Watergate tapes pretty much prove Nixon uh, um, colluded with other members to cover up the Watergate burglary that was basically uh, trying to find out what Democrats, what kind of dirt they had on uh, Republicans during the uh, 1972 election. Okay, so that's a document, and Nixon documented his own crimes on tape. You can go back and listen to the tapes. Um, you can also hear tapes of Nixon making racial slurs, saying all kinds of uh, just uh, uh, pathetic stuff that almost makes Trump look like... Um, uh, a moderate. So anyway, uh, Watergate was a confirmed conspiracy because five of the conspirators even pled guilty. So that, that I take that to mean when somebody pleads guilty that they're not lying. And then um, we taught we fast forward to Russia Gate. Was that a conspiracy? Well, the media is trying to make a huge story out of it. I'm not finding any facts about it other than um, ex-intelligence officials uh, got together and reviewed it, the evidence, and they say that um, the DNC emails that were released to WikiLeaks that proved that the DNC was corrupt and that they were basically um, rigging the election, the primaries for, for Hillary, so that Bernie had no chance. Um, Basically, it was a leak, an interior leak from within the DNC, not an external hack. Two different things. They, they know how to tell if something's a leak or a hack by studying all the uh, technical data and the, the amount of time that uh, you know, passed by in which all that data was moved. So that, that's how they know. And all these non-techies, and I'm not that big of a techie, but I at least know that. I, I write about tech for the tech industry, so, so I'm not as ignorant as the common hillbot <laughs> who is trying to act like, uh, oh, we were hacked by Russians. They rigged the election. Um, no, what, what really happened is Hillary campaigned as a Wall Street warmonger who praised war criminal Henry Kissinger, and that alienated a lot of progressives who had voted for Barack Obama. That's why they stayed home or did like I did, which was vote for Green Party candidate Jill Stein. No, that's not what threw the election. What threw, what real, The real reason Hillary lost is because a lot of Democrats stayed home. And, you know, she just came off as dishonest. So that's end of story. She tried to put out a book to blame it all on Bernie and all this stuff, but no, no. We're, we're learning since then from Donna Brazil's comments that uh, the DNC was corrupt. Sounds like as corrupt as the uh, Republican Party, which to my knowledge has been corrupt <laughs> for as long as I've been alive. So, who knows, maybe the Democratic Party's also been corrupt all along. I know that LBJ is considered to be very corrupt, or was, and uh, some say that he even ordered the hit on JFK. That, that would be a theory. Okay, that's his, well, LBJ's lawyer says he knows for a fact that LBJ was behind uh, JFK's murder, so I take that as compelling evidence. Um, I tend to believe people in the closest circles of, of uh, these um, perpetrators or whoever suspects. Anyway, so I hope that helps you uh, have a clearer idea of the difference between a conspiracy theory and conspiracy facts. Um, I don't 
take Alex Jones too seriously with his Infowar stuff. Some of the stuff is factual. He was able to um, to predict correctly or scoop the whole media about this Paul Manafort, however you say his name, uh, campaign ex Trump's ex campaign manager who um, lied to authorities. So I guess that led to an indictment. But outside of that, I don't see any anything about Russia rigging the election. I just see that Hillary was a terrible candidate. Uh, she didn't run as a progressive at all. She ignored millennials, so they stayed home. And um, she just ran a terrible campaign. That's why she lost to the world's worst game show host. So I hope that gives you a more clear understanding of the differences between conspiracy research, which is what I do, versus conspiracy theories, which is what... Uh, I guess Alex Jones does. He dreams up these theories. Uh, versus uh, conspiracy nuts, which is what Alex Jones is sometimes when he, he goes overboard and blows too much smoke and hysteria uh, in his attempt to sell conspiracy videos and market his fake whatever, vitamin supplements or whatever they are. I don't follow him too closely, but... Every now and then he's right about stuff, but a lot of times he's wrong. So that should lead us into the Conspiracy World song, Chasing You Down the Rabbit Hole, by a cartoon character that I invented called Lionel Rabbitson. Time to go on a sabbatical, chasing you down the rabbit hole, telling you what you want to do. But little do you know, it's all to deceive. I'm using up your precious time to keep you from learning the ultimate crime. Remember, truth is not what it seems. You got to open your mind beyond your wildest dreams. So you'll be paid. A heavy, heavy toe, yeah, with your soul. Chasing you down the rabbit hole, chasing you down the rabbit hole, I'm chasing you down the rabbit hole, trapping. 